Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're going to be jumping down into the world of Cardano, reviewing what's been going on most recently with the price action and where I think things are heading next. As I get into the video, if you find it useful and informative, smash that like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all the notifications and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. And if you haven't yet joined us in Discord, guys, check it out. Link is in the description below. Let's say uh, let's jump right down into this one. I'll kind of try and keep it nice and brief to the point. Um, and uh, yeah, and just give you all the information I think you need to know. So here we have Cardano's ADA paired up with USDT. We're using the BitGet Spot Exchange and the one hour time frame. This means that the things I talk about on this one hour time frame are likely to play out in the next 24 to 48 hours. Typically, they don't go longer than that. And of course, if we start talking about the larger moves, then they're going to span multiple days, potentially weeks into months and so forth. So just understand that there's going to be uh, potentially lots of different uh, time horizons associated with uh, with the analysis. So on the one hour time frame here, you can see that we're potentially gearing up for a bit of a move to the downside. But all of this essentially is actually building up to a bit more of a bullish potential move upwards. OK, so before we can go up, we kind of have to go down. It's one of those kind of situations. Now, we can see ourselves with... Um, a fair value gap that sat right down here. This is basically 27.9339 to 28.4692, right? So uh, this little area here. Now, there's no guarantee that we move all the way down here before we have that break to the upside. Essentially, what I'm really interested in is the equilibrium 200 EMA situation, okay? EMA, uh, the 200 EMA is coming in at 28.813 cent. Um, and equilibrium, as you can kind of see, is hovering right in here as well basically 28.7 to about 28.9 um, so it's an interesting zone I think we're likely to visit okay you can see this is an area of previous consolidation as well and it allows us to look at this uh, setup that we find ourselves in in the uh, typical kind of fashion that we have lower highs and lower lows this is where we're going to see the break out from later in my opinion um, but for right now this is where we are probably looking at moving back down our uh, a stochastic RSI is indicating that we are likely to see a momentum shift to the downside and so we should prepare ourselves for that as well. Jumping over into the BitGet exchange where right, we just talk briefly about those fair value gaps. The fair value gaps are created from the imbalances in the order books. I talk about this all the time. What they represent is uh, poor liquidity or areas in price where there is very little liquidity and as such when a big order comes in the price action has to move from let's say the low side to the high side so buy orders coming in can't find enough sellers so the price moves up to find more sellers essentially to complete the order okay and when we see these areas of um, poor liquidity we expect price action to go back down and put liquidity where liquidity was not okay so we essentially expect price to go fill the gaps very similar to kind of CME gaps where you see um, an open position and a closed position and the difference between the two the gap in between is called a CME gap and price also likes to fill those out as well understanding how um, you create or how fair value gaps are created is quite important if you're following large um, smart money movements in the space because essentially you do not expect them to kind of get stacked on top of each other you kind of expect them to appear and get filled out appear and get filled out and so forth so here you can see we've got all the yellow ones they've all been filled but the purple ones down here are yet to be populated i.e the price action is yet to come down and put liquidity where liquidity was not for Cardano's ADA. Okay, and guys, if you haven't yet signed up to BitGet, what are you waiting for? Check it out. The affiliate link is in the description down below. It is a fantastic platform that offers some fantastic sign-up returns, uh, rewards, I should say, and bonuses of up to $8,000, uh, depending on how much you deposit and trade on the platform. And of course, if you do use the affiliate link in the description down below, you can take part in the trading competitions that uh, Chris and myself host down in the Discord server now this is not affiliated with bitget it's not affiliated with youtube or anything like that this is just something that chris and myself are doing for anyone who signs up to the affiliate link uh, in the description below right if you do use that link then you can of course participate in our own trading competitions down in the discord server
ever. Now, BitGetty is my go-to platform. I do all my leverage-based trading there and about 90 to 95% of my spot trading. I think it's a fantastic platform. I actually use it. I'm not just saying this. Um, I know Chris uses BitGet as well and as many of the other cheeky community do as well. If you haven't already checked it out, check it out. Link is in the description below. Let's jump back down into the charts, right? So let's take a look at the daily time frame for ADA. Now, as we can see, right, on the daily time frame, this is something that's going to take weeks to play out, right? Not something that's going to be quick and easy. Um, but we can see a potential move down here towards 18 uh, 0.01 to 20.36. Now this is not yet confirmed because our wave four can still technically push up a little bit higher. Okay, so our wave four could push up uh, more before we actually move on down. What I'm waiting for here is the right structure to kind of confirm where our lows are likely to be. Okay, and if you are a member, um, then you would know that we have a accumulation zone document uh, on our new membership website uh, which is membership.cheekycrypto.io also linked in the description below and uh, you'll know that a lot of the buy zone ranges or the ranges in price such as this one here are yet to kind of be confirmed but you have a list of all of my accurate active um, accumulation zones this will be ADA's accumulation zone when I bottom it in and once I have confirmed that that is where I think things are heading again we might find that this has to come down a little Bit deeper but for now that's kind of where it's looking as you can kind of see it's a big one two three four and five wave we're looking for five waves inside the fifth wave it looks like we are in a wave two at the moment but again this is only valid if wave four has uh, has completed but wave four has possibly got a little bit more in the tank so we'll keep an eye on that and see how it goes hopefully we are in the right structure and our accumulation zones will be updated to 18.01 to 20.36 um, and of course we'll start to see this move to the downside this is where i think the next low for cardano is likely to be and potentially even the very last one it'll be interesting to kind of see how that plays out it's possible of course that we zigzag even further and um, down more down towards 15 cent but we'll see and cross that path as time progresses but for now this is looking likely to be the case that we have an 18 to 20 cent cardano ada now obviously that kind of sounds really bad but for the most part that's only a part of a much bigger play uh, where we are looking of course at a big bigger move to the upside overall right we have five waves going up we've had this corrective pattern coming down in the bear market and we're looking for a very explosive move to the upside in the next bullish market, whenever that may start. So all in all, I think Cardano is in a really good spot. I think we're just going to see some volatility on the kind of smaller time frames. We're looking for a bit of a move down uh, on the daily time frame. Um, but, you know, before that happens, if Bitcoin moves up, maybe that fourth wave has a little bit more in the tank before we see the correction to the downside. Let me know what your thoughts are on Cardano's ADA. Are you stacking it? Uh, according to the wallet data, there is a lot of accumulation happening on Cardano's ADA. Again, this is available to our members to check out at membership.cheekycrypto.io. If you found this video useful, why not check it out um, and smash that like button. If you're new, subscribe. And if you haven't yet joined us in Discord, what you're waiting for, check it out. Link in the description below. Until the next one though, guys, have a fantastic day. We are not financial advisors, and none of what we have communicated early or in writing here should be considered as financial advice. It is not. Do your own research before investing in any digital asset or affiliate office and understand that investing in any crypto is risky. If you do, you need to be prepared to lose your entire investment. This video is an information against the advice only. All other videos are strictly personal opinions. Please make sure you do your own research and never take our opinions for financial advice. There are multiple strategies and not all strategies fit for people. Our videos are not financial advice.